It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, you know who I'm talking about when I say the name Denver Pyle. Yes, Briscoe Darling. Um, Denver Powell says just once, just one time, how he wanted to play the guy who got the girl. Didn't happen on Andy Griffith, did it? Let's take a look. Is there anything purer than Briscoe Darlin's face as he serenades Aunt B in the unexpectedly sweet Andy Griffith show uh, episode Briscoe declares for Aunt B? The episode finds Briscoe suddenly smitten with Aunt B after confusing her kindness for affection. On the Andy Griffith Show, Denver Pyle played Briscoe Darlin, ordinarily wearing a hat and blower, uh, blowing over the top of a jug. In the scene, though, his hat's off, his heart's out. Never seen Pyle so earnest about anything in Mayberry before, not even Charlene's wedding. His character actor, Pyle, told Miami Herald in 67 that it was basically written in stone that he'd never be the sort of guy who ended up with a girl on his arm. They talk about overexposure among actors, Pyle said. Me, if I don't work in a few weeks, I get restless. I'm very good for a half-hour TV films. A uh, minute uh, they see my face, people know my character. Slick heavy, nasty heavy, a heavy heavy. One thing they know, I won't get the girl. Just once I'd like to get the girl. But it's been so long, I've forgotten what I'd do anyway. <laughs> True to this pattern, in the end of Andy Griffith Show episode, Aunt B does not take Briscoe's hand. Poor Denver. Another on-screen chance at love spurned. If it's any consolation, you should know that by this point in his life, Denver Powell and his real life had found love. Married his first wife, Marilee, in 56, and they stayed together until 75, trading time with their two sons between two California homes, one in Balboa Island and the other in Toluca Lake. Uh, Powell was doing just fine despite never being a leading man, and he had a theory as to why. And funny enough, it has to do somewhat with Briscoe Darlin's fashion trademark, his signature hat. Secret, secret of my overnight success, after about 10 years, is the fact that I was born with a good western face and I wear a hat well, Powell said. Lots of people can't, you know. He certainly had some opinions. John Wayne was the best western hat face in the business, he speculated. However, Tony Curtis? Ha! Terrible. Jack Lemmon? No way. He then went on to praise one of the TV, biggest TV stars to ever tip his hat, saying, add Jim Arness to the list of good western faces. Maybe Jim's the best of them all on TV. Uh, sure, you'll agree that Denver Powell had a good Western hat face. But a reoccurring joke throughout, Briscoe declares for Aunt B, finds his hat off, trying to prove to Aunt B that he has manners, even after he's kidnapped her. In his real life, Denver met his wife, Marilee, when she was working as a production assistant at 20th Century Fox Studios. Uh, she believed in his acting and helped him throughout their marriage, and even though they're they, uh, after their divorce to manage his career remaining friends until he passed away in 97. Now, while together, the couple uh, liked to entertain friends at fancy dinners, hosting parties in hip settings like the actor Phil Ahn's uh, famous Moongate restaurant. Um, they could also be found flying off to Vegas to catch Sammy Davis Jr. act. Powell was happy with taking on as many TV gigs as he could get, more desiring this peculiar, fast-paced quality of life he found jumping between sets and sitting too long in the spotlight. And he became well-respected as an actor that way. Everybody recognized how much he brought to every scene, no matter what it was asked. Powell said uh, he couldn't remember even getting a single bad review. Not once in my life have I ever been rapped by a critic, he told the Herald. If the thing bombs, it's the hero's fault. If it's good, then they say good boy. He says uh, he sure had a good support from people like Denver Powell. Another guy I'd like to admit. Uh, he seems like he was a real, and uh, he was also uh, a very wealthy man. Uh, he, he's, you could call him Jed Clampett back in the day. He got into the oil business before the prices went up, and he was acting because he loved to act. That's another rare quality. 
He wasn't acting to be a star. He was acting because that's what he loved to do. Um, that's all I have for you. Questions and answers will be coming up, I promise. I just, I, I had a little bit of a medical scare, but everything's cool. Uh, and a couple, a uh, car broke down and I had a few things happen to me. And um, anyway, I just haven't had time to go through it all yet. So, but I will go through it all and we will get to it, I promise. Hopefully by this weekend. So, have a great day. <laughs> God bless you. Keep them prayers coming. I'll be praying for you. Um, God bless you. I love you.